Hello viewers, after a very long wait, finally I got my hands on the uh, Huawei X3 Wi-Fi 6 router Actually the uh, cheapest one on in the market, uh, which is supposed to be the uh, Wi-Fi 6 network So first let's have a look at it So the uh, white one in the left is the uh, X3 and the black one on the right is the X3 Pro and the, uh, except for the color, I can't tell any differences between these two modules exactly the same in everywhere So a quick reminder, uh, Huawei has released the uh, X3 and the X3 Pro Wi-Fi router. Both of them support the uh, Wi-Fi 6 network and both of them has the uh, Huawei Giga Home CPU. And the, uh, the difference between these two, first is the uh, price. The X3 costs around 32 US dollars and the X3 Pro costs around uh, 47 US dollars. Both of them has the uh, Giga Home CPU, but the X3 has two cores and the X3 Pro has four cores. RAM is a bit different, but the uh, X3 has uh, only two Wi-Fi signal booster and the X3 Pro has four. So actually, I've been doing a review on the X3 Pro not long time before, and uh, in case you haven't seen that before, you can check the link below in the description. So today I'm going to do the same test as I've been done for the uh, X3 Pro. First is the ESP test. I'm running under the China Telecom 1000 uh, network and uh, should be doing around 1000 megabyte uh, download and uh, 100 uh, upload. So as we can see for the uh, download, we are doing around 850 megabyte bit per second and the uh, upload is around 120. It's uh, exactly the same result as we have for the X3 Pro. So we are going to do a quick copy and paste. Uh, I'm copying the file from my remote uh, de desktop, which has been wired to the uh, router. So now we're doing around uh, 100 MB per second. Um, still, it's kind of the same result as we have for the uh, X3 Pro. Now copying the file to my remote desktop. And the speed is almost the same and uh, very stable. At this moment, there's no difference can be tell between the X3 and the X3 Pro. So now we are going to move on to the signal uh, stress part. So now I have been connected to the uh, 5G network. I'm using the uh, iPhone XS, so it's not running on the uh, Wi-Fi 6, but the Wi-Fi 5 network. So first is the speed test. around the 600 byte per second. So the test result is almost the same as we have for the X3 Pro. And now I'm going to uh, use the uh, pin test as we did for the uh, X3 Pro. And I'm going to move around in my house. Uh, now we are having around four. Very stable here. And when I move to my garage. Actually, we are having some uh, unstable situation here. This didn't happen on the X3 Pro. So I think the uh, two extra signal booster does do its job. Second floor, no big differences. 
which lead to the third floor. So we have lost the signal for some time, but it recovered very fast. And as we can see here, we're still on the 5G network. And now let's move on to the first floor. And at this moment, we uh, totally lost our signal. So the last thing I'm going to do is to test the network here outside my house. So the pin test, for some reason I don't understand. The pin seems to be better uh, than I was in the house. And the speed test. And we are doing around the 200 megabytes per second. So to conclude, the difference between these two modules is not that big. And for 32 US dollars, you really got uh, Wi-Fi 6 routers that are worth the price. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.